Hey what's up guys welcome back So OnePlus very recently launched the new OnePlus Nord CE which I told you isn't really a successor for the Nord but more of a cheap cash grab just by adding a headphone jack and shouldn't really exist but because it added a headphone jack it got a pass from me and now today we have the real OnePlus Nord 2 which doesn't feature the one thing which OnePlus banked on with the OnePlus Nord CE. So guys this is how the Nord 2 will look like and let's talk about the important thing it does not have the headphone jack. So if OnePlus was so proud of bringing the headphone jack back from dead why didn't they keep it alive and boy would it suck if OnePlus bring it back again on the Nord 2 CE. Over here we just have a speaker grill, USB-C slot and the SIM tray. On the right hand side we have the power button and the alert slider with the volume rockers being present on the left side. From the back the smartphone looks very reminiscent of the OnePlus 9R with the cameras on the right. Which let's talk about that. We have triple cameras with the main one being of 50 megapixel. Then we have the secondary ultra wide lens of 8 megapixel and another one of 2 megapixel. Most likely a macro or a depth lens. The macro and depth lenses are indeed wasteful lenses but if we just talk about numbers, the original node had quad cameras and this one just has 3. But to be fair the actual camera quality will likely be better. Also talking about one less camera, we have one less camera at the front as well which is of 32 megapixel. On the front side we have a full HD display of 6.43 inches with a refresh rate of 90 hertz. The battery will be of 4500 mAh but we don't know whether we will be getting a 30 watt fast charger or a 65 watt fast charger. For the processor OnePlus is going with the MediaTek Dimensity 1200 pairing it with 8 gigs of minimum RAM. And boy isn't MediaTek quickly becoming super popular with the smartphone manufacturers. Couple of years ago I remember dismissing smartphones just by seeing a MediaTek badge. I'm so happy to see that they are on an upward trajectory. They are doing with Snapdragon what AMD did with Intel and I so much like it. More competition never hurts the end customer. The OnePlus Nord 2 is expected to be released in July with a price tag of around 30,000 which I have to say is not a good price. I remember paying almost the same money for a OnePlus killer flagship back in the OnePlus 6 days. And at this price you can easily find better phones than the OnePlus Nord 2. For fuck's sake you could get the LG Wing for 30,000 and OnePlus Nord 2 has got nothing over the LG Wing. Nothing. Nada. Niche. Let me know guys what do you think about this new OnePlus Nord 2. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more OnePlus videos. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Also subscribe to my second channel for the review of the OnePlus Nord 2 when it comes out. Say hi to me on Twitter and guys thanks for watching.